Uh oh. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Okay, no big fight. I'll take that. Ouch. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? That's what happens when you're messing with time. Alright. See what we got in here. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. There's more to David Manson than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could, too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Well, if he's a vet, maybe he came back injured and helped him, but it came with a price. I wonder if David is going to the oh, party. Well, my eye has been on those lockers over there. Who has like a full set of school lockers in their garage? Seriously. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? Let's find something to... Oh shit, I don't... For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Yeah, exactly. Because I, I don't remember running into anything with a code. So I was just like... I was a rabbit. Uh, I was a deer in headlights. Just so, like... Just like... Oh. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. No, I'll go... If listen. there is one. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. There we go. Yep. Yep, I was deer in headlights just then, just thinking back quickly. Oh, did I see the code somewhere? His license, his army vet ID and stuff. It's just like... Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Plus, I can rewind time. Oh, maps, 
notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. What the hell? Twin Peaks. Nathan. Oh, he was there that day. Jesus. Twilight Zone. I can't. Something, something pay up. Has to do with Frank. Score. Back to Chloe now. Should I... Should I rewind time and, and like... You know what would have maybe they should have put like a like a meter maybe it's amazing how much drama this living room looks like david already booked a room the Blah hotel um yeah maybe they should have put like a meter that tells you oh okay um, that tells you you know your the pat the limit of your powers yo chloe are you ready yet I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Ass, this whole game. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. I should say. Arcadia Bay is scared too. too. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. Nathan, first. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. 
I didn't think you were friends. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. Oh, damn it. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening oh, no, should in Arcadia I ask about Bay. Kate? If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. Tobango? What the hell is that? I'll ask what about you. wormholes and chaos? No, I should ask about Tobango. I don't like know what time about travel is. stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate is the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. You're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. <sighs> My sweet Kate. 